Democrats are going to f- see if they can run on Roe versus Wade. And they are calling it, you know, they're getting desperate when they're calling out the celebs. And they're calling them out early. So remember, Hillary Clinton did this a lot in 2016. Remember the star-studded DNC that featured all of these celebrities singing fight song in what was one of the most obnoxious displays of entertainment slash politics of my lifetime? Like Elizabeth Banks singing fight song alongside Hillary Clinton. It's like, oh no. Well, now we're doing it again. This time it's Jill Biden. First of all, you can't trust Joe around the ladies because he might start sniffing hair. So they trot out Jill, who's a doctor. So she knows a lot about abortion. She is, she's a doctor of education. She's not a real doctor. But in any case, she appeared alongside someone who looks something like Christina Aguilera. Oh, wait, I'm being told that is Christina Aguilera. Okay, well, okay, this wax work of Christina Aguilera is standing alongside Dr. Jill Biden. And they are discussing Roe versus Wade and abortion, which is just terrific. It was shocking and devastating. From state to state, oh, abortion piano bans music. Yeah, went piano into music. effect, threatening the health and lives mm. of women across the country, while also threatening doctors with prosecution for simply doing their jobs. And now, extremists are even threatening the right to access IVF and contraception for so many families. Secrecy, shame, punishment, danger, even death. Extremists are working harder than ever to drag us back to a past we thought was long over. But we say our reproductive health care decisions should be made by us and our doctors, not politicians. We should have the freedom to Wait, make our decisions no. about our own bodies. I will not let my daughter live in a world where politicians make decisions about her body. I thought she was going to stop that sentence. I will not let my daughter live. Since she's pro <laughs> Our reproductive rights will be on the ballot in all 50 states. Okay, it's, Together, okay, we need okay, to okay, stop. Okay, okay, so this, this is going to be the shtick. Okay, so you're going to trot out Jill Biden, this charmless person, to make the case about abortion standing next to Christina Aguilera, who was last relevant in the entertainment world, what, 10 years ago? That's like the late end of her relevance. She was most relevant in the entertainment world when I was like 15 years old. So it's been a while. In any case, this is what you guys got. You had a crappy president who's bad at everything, who's leaving the border wide open, got inflation, got complete social decay. But you do have Christina Aguilera standing next to Joe Biden lecturing you about abortion. Meanwhile, you also have Olivia Rodrigo pushing abortion. So she apparently at her concerts has been handing out Plan B. According to Pop Base, one of the world's most trusted sites, Olivia Rodrigo's Guts World Tour in St. Louis. Always a great name for a world tour is Guts. Handed out free Plan B pills to fans who wanted them from the Missouri Abortion Fund. Funding abortion, it's a good idea, right? That's what it says on the, on the pills. We can help you find abortion care. And then it's emergency contraceptives in case you decide to, uh, you know, have that fling after the Olivia Rodrigo concert and then get pregnant so that you can uh, make it. She's, she's handing out abortion pills at concerts. Well, this is the world liberals want, I suppose. So I guess you can vote for that if you do want that. With inflation on the rise, 20 bucks barely gets you anything these days. In most restaurants, you can't get a burger and fries for under that. How about it, like at the gas pump? Well, you might be able to get like a quarter of a gallon or something. I mean, like really, gas is getting very expensive. But from my cell phone company, Pure Talk, you can get unlimited talk, text, plenty of 5G data for just 20 bucks a month. Pure Talk gives you the same quality of service as your current cell phone provider, but for half the cost. I want to ensure you heard that. This is top tier coverage on America's most dependable 5G network for half the cost of other carriers. The average family will save almost a thousand bucks a year, all with no contracts and no activation fees. You can switch to Pure Talk with the phone and phone number you currently use, or you can take advantage of their great deals on the latest iPhones and Androids. Making the switch is incredibly easy. Their U.S. customer service team can help you join Pure Talk in as little as 10 minutes. Choose to spend your hard-earned money with a wireless company that shares your values, supports our military and veterans, a company that creates American jobs and refuses to advertise on fake news networks. Don't spend another day spending ridiculous amounts of money on your phone plan. Go to puretalk.com slash Shapiro. Right now, my listeners can get an additional 50% off their very first month of coverage. That's puretalk.com slash Shapiro. Donald Trump is apparently not going to face some charges in Georgia. According to The Hill, a Georgia judge dismissed some of former President Trump's charges in the sweeping election interference case against him due to a lack of detail. Judge Scott McAfee tossed six charges total contained in the indictment, including three counts against Trump. Those charges 
involved his pressure campaign on Georgia's Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, including the infamous call in which Trump asked Raffensperger to find enough votes, exactly 11,779, to overturn Joe Biden's victory in the state. The charges dropped all relate to alleged efforts to solicit Georgia officials to violate their oaths of office. So that's weird because those are sort of the key charges. The judge said the charges contain essential elements of the crime, but they failed to provide enough detail for the defendants to mount their offenses. Under the current charges, McAfee said the defendants could have violated the laws in dozens, if not hundreds, of distinct ways. So that really takes the wind out of that particular case. And putting aside all the Fannie Willis craziness in Georgia. So there's that. But the media are now, they've decided they're going to bank it all. They're going to bank it all on the classified documents case in Florida. Now, to be fair, that is, in fact, the legal case in which Donald Trump is in the most jeopardy. The January 6th case put forward in Washington, D.C. by Jack Smith alleges crimes that really do not apply to the circumstances in January 6th. The Alvin Bragg case in New York City is a complete joke of a case. It's a ridiculous, ridiculous, stupid case in which Alvin Bragg is claiming that somehow Donald Trump violated campaign finance law federally for which he was not charged, but that somehow amounts to some sort of bootstrapped state crime that Alvin Bragg is gonna is gonna hit him with. It's, it's ridiculous. The Georgia case is a trumped up RICO charge that really doesn't apply. And now even the central elements of that have been tossed out. So that leaves the Florida documents case. And this, of course, is Donald Trump shifting around classified documents and not turning them over to the National Archives after being asked to do so. Now, the problem politically with this is that Joe Biden just got let off the hook for the same thing. Joe Biden took home documents. He hid those documents in his house for decades, actually, going all the way back to his Senate days. When he was faced with that, he turned them over. But that doesn't change the original crime any more than if I murder someone and the police come to me and I admit to the crime, that means that I now get a lesser sentence. That's not the way that that works. Admitting to doing the crime and working with the authorities does not mean that the original crime never happened. If I commit white collar fraud and then the police come to me and ask to search my papers and I'm like, sure, here are my papers, I still get hit with white collar fraud. So the fact that Joe Biden did not commit obstruction of justice doesn't change the underlying offense. The, the slam on Trump is that he both screwed around with the classified documents and then he committed obstruction by, per, for, by, by trying to get other witnesses to perjure themselves or pressuring other witnesses or whatever it is. But I think everybody sees the underlying issue is very, very similar. So the media have decided they are now going to try out Trump employee number five, a person named Brian Butler. This is a longtime Mar-a-Lago employee who's a central witness in the investigation into Trump's handling of classified documents. He gave an interview to CNN in which he said he does not believe the criminal case against Trump is a witch hunt. He gave testimony to federal investigators that informed crucial portions of the criminal obstruction charges against Trump and his two co-defendants, Walt Nauda and Carlos de Oliveira, a property manager at Mar-a-Lago, who was very close friends with Butler until Butler apparently flipped. Here is Brian Butler. Given how other people who have been in Trump's orbit and left and told the truth and how they've been treated, did it ever make you hesitate to... No, I, I, look, I was always going to tell the truth. But, you know, after one of the interviews with uh, the justice, uh, the investigators on this case, you know, um, I think it got real when at the end of it was either my second or third, fourth time talking to them where they said at the end of it, oh, by the way, all of your grand jury testimony and witness testimony has been turned over to the Trump defense. You know, at that point, you're like, oh, boy, you know. Did it make you nervous? Yeah, a little bit. But, you know, I, I don't want to live in fear. I mean, we're only here for a finite time. Um, to me, I, I refuse to live in fear like that. I mean, yes, cautious, but, uh, you know, I'm going to tell the truth. Okay, so CNN played this as a bombshell. Is this like an actual bombshell that he moved around papers? We all know that Trump moved around papers. On a political level, is this going to hurt Donald Trump in any serious way after what just happened with Joe Biden? I think not. Are you tired of the lies and the twist of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah, me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda.